how to not be an asshole. <laughs> this should be fun. Contrary to how it may look on Instagram, I do actually work and I have been working all morning on my computer and my brain feels like total mush. So I am going to take a little walk outside. This is something I try to do every single day, no matter how much computer work I do, is just turn everything off, take a break. Um, and I think that uh, having a dog has also been really helpful for me because she has to get outside. And so I'm gonna go take a walk. I'll take you guys with me. Um, we have a really beautiful trail by my house. It goes down to the river and the river is looking amazing right now with all the ice. So I'll show you guys the trip. You ready to go on a walk? You don't know that word yet, do you? <laughs> having uh, an awesome day. Uh, <laughs> topic for this video, uh, it just came from my experience this week and you know some things that came up with me and how I dealt with them and just some of the like processes I had um, with reacting and everything like that. So I wanted to share with you guys my whole process. It's because we live in a day and an age where you know anyone can say anything to anyone especially online and i feel like people don't really feel responsible for their comments of what they say online it's like they feel a sense of protection behind the screen and they always forget that there's a human being behind it and i feel really really fortunate that over the course you know of the last two three years that i've been sharing my life on instagram that i haven't had a whole lot of negative comments they definitely come in here and there but for the most part they're pretty good um but i do think that the conversation about how to not be an asshole <laughs> are really just how to respond from a place of emotional intelligence is really important and it's something uh, a, a conversation or a topic that we need to talk about so the first thing is i want to go back to man like a while ago like five or six years ago um when i first taught i taught i just did my first teacher training um actually let's scratch that i had just done I was in the middle of my second teacher training. So of course, naturally I felt like I knew everything. <laughs> All right, so uh, obviously I didn't know everything. But anyways, there was this girl I followed online and she's awesome, she's really, really rad. Um, but anyways, she had like 100,000 followers and she was posting videos and pictures, like before and after pictures of people using her like stretching guide or her like fitness guide. And remind, this is like a long time ago, so it's probably not someone that you're thinking of now. Um, but anyways, the form was a little bit like not how I had learned it. And you know, there was a piece of me, I think and if I look back, the, the, how it really went, it wasn't like, you know, oh, I just wanna make sure all these people are safe. Realistically, I think there was a piece of me that was like, well, I know more as a yoga teacher than this girl. Why does she have 100,000 followers? So I'm gonna make myself feel better by putting her in her place. And obviously that's not what was going on in my mind. What was going on in my mind was like, oh my gosh, so unfit, unsafe. I can't believe she's telling 100,000 people to stretch that way. You know, that's what I was thinking. And so I commented on her thing. And actually I think I was nice enough to send a direct message and I, I sent it in a nice way, but still, you know, I had said something along the lines of like, hey, I love your page, you're awesome. But I've been noticing that, you know, you're teaching people forward fold in this way that can really hurt their back um you know blah 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 whatever and she you know she wrote back really nicely like oh thank you so much you know i just like to celebrate people and their successes you know i definitely try to teach them the other way or whatever it was a really nice response but i just wanted to use myself in as, as an example because you know even though on a conscious level like in my mind i thought i was doing something good if i really look back i was responding from a piece of my ego that was 
honestly, like probably a little bit jealous. Like I said, I, I felt like, you know, I probably knew a little bit more about anatomy and alignment than she did. And yet here she was, you know, with 100,000 followers. And, and so my reaction really truly wasn't from a space of wanting to help and connect. And here's the thing, we can give constructive feedback from that place. But I think so often, especially online, we're not giving feedback from that place or we're not, you know, talking to people from that place um, and we're just reacting. So I think it's really important to take a step back. And that's why I said, you know, there's this quality of emotional intelligence. So to give you guys a little bit more of an understanding of what this might look like, I'm going to break down another scenario. So recently I received uh, an email from someone I had met at a yoga training and I had given her my email to like stay in touch, to stay connected. And she sends me an email about this new adventure that she's up to, this new like business venture she's on. And I was super excited for her in that first email because that was exactly why I gave her my email. And so I was really pumped to see that she was up to something awesome. Now, from there, <laughs> she started sending me an email like every single day about this venture. And I got a little frustrated because I was like, I didn't sign up to be on your mailing list. I want to know what you're up to, but I get so many emails, you know, and, and I was just like a little bit frustrated that she didn't ask me to be on her mailing list. Like I gave her my email just to stay in touch. And so these are the things that are going on in my head. I'm excited for her and her adventure, but I'm a little bit frustrated that I'm now getting like blasted with emails. So I wrote her an email back and was just like, you know, I'm so excited for your new venture. Um, however, <laughs> I gave you my email with the context of just staying in touch and as excited as I am for you, you know, I didn't give you permission to add you to my mailing list. It's super important that you ask people's permission first. Um, anyways, like wish you the best Ariel. And my intentions were just to kindly let her know that I didn't feel like that was right. Um, I didn't go into a lot of detail about like the fact that I was excited for her in her first email. Um, I'm excited for her in adventure. I tried to do it in a polite way, you know, and to me, I felt like I had done the best we can. And I think that something really important is that sometimes we do the best that we can and we still have room to grow. Um, because in this circumstance, I got a really interesting email back and it was totally unexpected. So basically, um, she goes into talking about how <laughs> how she's a you know daily practitioner of hatha yoga i don't know if i've heard of it like she's like i don't know if you've heard of it but it's about being a whole person mind body spirit and then she starts talking about um how i'm young and i have a lot to learn and that my way is not the only right way and that i should look up the words condescending and scathing and like you know obviously like i had really hit her in a spot that was um, painful that hurt her and you know you could probably hear my kind of ego reaction to this so when I first got this email I was kind of like what the hell you're questioning who I am as a yogi you're questioning my dedication to my practice you know you're, you're basically like telling me that I am a really bad person and that I you know like all this stuff and and that was my, my first reaction was to want to write her back and to say something like um, like talk about writing an email that's condescending, like reread what you just wrote. That's what I wanted to write. So I'm talking you guys through my process. My first reaction was that. But then my second reaction was like, ooh, interesting. Where does that need come from? Like where is there a need not being met? And what it came from for me was like this place of insecurity, of like needing to prove to somebody that I am a dedicated yogi and I blah, blah, blah. And I realized in that moment when I was assessing, you know, my initial emotional reaction to that email that that was just coming from a place of my own unmet needs. And that in reality, I know and trust that what I'm doing for myself and my dedication to yoga is where it needs to be. And I don't need to prove that to anyone else. And so I took the time to really think of how I could best serve and how I could meet uh, a need that obviously wasn't being met in her either. So my original email, even though I had sent it with all of the intention of giving just constructive feedback and, you know, letting her know where I was at had obviously really hurt her. And so I had this opportunity to hurt her more by putting her in her place, which is like what my ego wanted to do, 
or I had this opportunity to show her love and compassion, which was what my original intention was anyways. So I wrote her an email back and was just like, you know, listen, I am so sorry if that's what you felt from reading my email. That was not at all how I intended to send it. I'm super excited for you and your new venture. You know, I was very, very excited to see your first email, but then it was the follow-up ones without any permission that was a little frustrating. I just wish she would have asked me for permission. Regardless, I wish you so much success. Um, you know, all the best, Ariel. And, and I got an email back from her that was like, thank you so much for taking the time to elaborate. It means a lot to me, wishing you well as well. You know, so I think that it's really hard in the moment and luckily in a space of, you know, in this email exchange, I had time to think about it and to really see where that was coming from. But I think that we all could really use to take a little bit more pause in our life to really tap into how we're feeling in any given moment. And if what we're sharing with people or saying to people is truly something to give them like, um, you know, feedback or if it's to help us meet an unmet need that we have. So I, I feel like, I, I hope that this conversation today wasn't like too out there or woo woo or kind of like beyond what you were expecting. But I think that I, you know, I really wanna take my YouTube to talk about things that are relevant with, with me and how I'm working through them because I do feel like if it's helping me, it might have the capacity to help a lot of pe other people. So let me know your thoughts on all of that or maybe what your process is when you're responding or if this is something you've never thought of. Um, I'd love to hear a little bit about that below in the comments or anything that you're working on or dealing with, shoot it down below and let's chat it out together. I'm super excited to start to build this YouTube community. And what I'll say to close this video is as always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video and you wanna see more like them, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me, especially here in the beginning as we are just getting this channel off the ground. Have such an amazing day and we'll talk soon.